But at least the sound of notification. And here we go. Let's see what Django's uh, Ibuki's got. Splice so Helix, not. Fight. You know, not dicking around. Going right for the gal. Starting things off with a jump. Dango with a good press guard. And a crush guard. Confirming that. Frame trap. Splice Helix not re not respecting. Gets the throw bait, but no follow up. Missed the hit from there. That would have been stun and possibly rounds. But instead, we're just gonna get some uh, B trigger shenanigans and Splice Helix DP right on that. Doesn't want to deal with it. Don't blame him. Alright. Splice Helix is. Is even enough. Gets a throw. Oh man. Django taking a page out of the books for a uh, three tournament sets. Let's it rip. <laughs> oh, I'm so surprised that there wasn't an anti air out of Splice Helix and Django is able to steal that round with small frame trap. There's that anti air. Spice Helix calming down a lot, although gets caught walking forward. Dang it, continuing to do a very good job. Gets him again with the throw bait, this time confirming the hit. Into tick throw, not quite close enough for the meaty, doesn't matter. Gets him on the other side, drops the target combo, that would have been game! And picks it back up. Are you far behind? Uh, I'm a, I'm a little behind. Yeah. Behind, okay. After this oh. set, uh, well, you try making the lobby. Okay. I think this is the first time I've actually seen this Ibuki outfit in play. Which one is this? Isn't this just the schoolgirl one? It's like, isn't it her winter school or something like that? Her what? Like, weren't there winter or school outfits that came yeah, out last? Yeah, the school outfit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cool, yeah. Yeah, the one that you see the most is probably the, um... Not the Cammy one, because Cammy's got... Oh yeah, good stuff. Other side, Splice Helix is having a lot of trouble. Or are you talking about the school outfits still? School outfits, yeah, but not the one that I see the most. Because that one's kind of top tier. You see Jerry? Okay. Yeah. Oh, Gango drops it! Unfortunate drop. But picks it up with the overhead again. I'm actually starting to wonder if Splice Delix is, uh, has some lag on his end, because he's getting hit by literally every overhead and side switch. Makes me worry. Not to discredit how good Django's playing right now, because he's definitely no, no, like doing it really well. It's just uncharacteristic out of Splice Delix. Oh, gets him with the same side kunai. Messes up the meaty. Hits him right out of the beater. A bad beater out of Django. Completely gone. Challenges. Goes for the throw. Django a little of a prey. Does a non EX reversal. Splice trying to do a jump back jab, but gets hit out of it. Then gets hit by the kunai again. He's just gonna. I. It was a hundred percent certain he was just gonna super but Shows you how much I know. Final round. Fight. Nice. Great, yeah, great air. So my seal is being very patient. Slide trades. Once again, catching Django just sitting there and bad. Yeah, but my seal is not making Django pay for it too much with that failed in here. That was probably an anti air. Yeah. yeah. Same side I got mixed up there. Probate again? No. Shimmy attempt. Slice Steel is going right in the super and that should tie it up 1 1. No, I don't know my damage whatsoever. The meaty V skill. Which is really good because it leaves you with like win. plus whatever. Like on block, you, you're like pretty plus, so it's pretty good. Good. With that, we'll actually update our scores. 1-1. One, one.
Round one. All right, who's gonna Fight. take this set? Um, not to discredit Django, I just believe in Splice Celix's ability. Uh, he made the adjustments he needed to make. He started looking better and better as game two went yeah. on. But I think that that trend's gonna continue. Because, you know, Guile can put on the offense, as you can see here, but part of a big part of it is learning the other person's patterns to get your defense in order. Although that was a great air throw out of uh, Django. Jumps out of it. Oh, gets caught. Uses the opportunity to side switch. Smart stuff out of Django. That was really good. Gets the shimmy. Oh man, did I speak too soon? Tries to call back a jump back. Instead, just gets hit by a sonic boom. Super juggles. EXDP. He, he watched the sets from earlier. He knows how well they work against these uh, these diamond players. <laughs> You just let him rip. Was that anti or jab trade? I think that trade, yeah. Yeah. Man, more air throws gets the side switch from it. Now Django's in a lot of trouble because Spice is sitting at that range, but an EX Kunai does it. Just goes straight through it. <laughs> oh, try to get sneaky, but yeah. Spice just jumping on out of it. Slice is getting caught by those air kunais left and right. Into second throw, into third oh throw! What God. is this, season two? After so many throw baits, Slice could not have thought he was going to keep going for it. That's one of the things, it doesn't matter if it's fake, it's, you don't, like, you don't have the time to react it's to the fact so that they're going to, for something fake. Because if you wake up button and they are doing a shimmy attempt, you're going to get hit. Can't even get in the X flash off. Sorry, Spliced. <laughs>